In this video, I'm going to show you how to build the most popular apps on the marketplace today using Lovable, a tool that turns ideas into a reality with just a little bit of help of AI and code. Like Harish, who created dozens of startups in just a few months. Or Nimish, who started to make money from his vibe-coded financial app. Or even my friend Florin, who built out his own startup idea in just a couple of hours using Superbase, Stripe, and Lovable. Most people give up before they even start because starting is hard. I want this video to flip that notion on its head. I want to show you how easy it is to replicate some of the most popular sites online and then build out some of my own MVP ideas and bring them to life. So let's begin with the first test. I'm going to head over to Lovable, which you can find at lovable.dev. Here, I want to replicate one of my favorite sites, and that's Audible. It's one of my favorite sites where I can listen to books while I'm driving, washing the dishes, or even recording a video. So the first prompt I'm going to try is to create a clone of Audible. Of course, before I can do that, I'll need to sign in. Luckily, I already have an account with Google Auth, so I'm going to use that. Let me now submit and see what we get. In the background, a lovable starts preparing this project, creating some context as to what I'm trying to create. This reminds me of reasoning that a lot of other models do, but it's a lot more obvious and straight to the point. Here I can see it's thinking. If I click through, I can see that it's starting to prepare the project files. It's got a general layout as well as the components and pages it'll create, and it looks like it'll be using Tailwind CSS, even preparing some of the colors that it'll be using for as part of creating and replicating an Audible-like look. I'm not gonna lie, this process does take a little bit of time to prepare all the files it'll need. And I end up with this project structure that reminds me a little bit of a VS Code inside of the web browser. If I open up the package.json, I'm running here Vite with React and ShadCN with a lot of different components imported, which will probably be used throughout the project. It's now ready. Let's select the top right here to preview it. Now, if I go through it, actually kind of looks better than Audible. I like this purple look as well as the name Echoverse. Here it's got some preview of some popular books like Atomic Habits as well as Dune. It's not just this homepage. I can click through to browse and library and even expand out the book itself or start clicking through on some of the items. This is all just front end, so I can't actually click to play anything, but it does give me a starting point if I wanted to build out an app like this. The buttons aren't particularly working right now because the text is invisible, I think because it's not pulling in black text on white buttons. So let's see if we can prompt Lovable to fix this problem. Using the chat, I'm gonna select to fix the white buttons as the text is invisible and hopefully it can figure out what to do. It starts rewriting some of the ShadCN files here for the components like the buttons. And here's the working version, pretty impressive. The next example I want to recreate is a YouTube. It should be no surprise that I spend most of my time on YouTube and the rest of the time making content for YouTube. So let me see here if I can create a clone of it, which I can customize and use for for my own purposes. And so here it is, all ready and coded. If I preview, I've got this browser here. Let me expand it out. I've got my menu on the left, search on the top, as well as videos I can actually click on. Although they take me to this uh, Rick Alistair video, which, well, nice work, Lovable, you got me there. These are just two quick examples to show you how quickly Lovable does at even cloning new projects. You can have a look at the source code because everything is created with proper structure, components, hooks. So it's not like I couldn't download this into to my own GitHub and start taking it further. But why would I do that when I can continue to vibe code? And so now I want to build out my own MVP idea. For a long time now, I've wanted to create my own UI library. You see, I have this course called Enhance UI, Design for Developers. And while I have lots of examples of how to use color, topography, as well as components properly in terms of design, it would be really cool if I had something to go along with it. So using Lovable, I'm going to see if I can make it. On my first attempt, it got a good idea of what I wanted to do, a modern type of website like Tailwind, Stripe, Vercel, that would show examples of things like hero sections, newsletters, and different types of blocks. For the very first attempt, it came up with this, which looks a little bit like Last Star, but it at least has a couple of the right ideas, such as these components, layouts, and marketing, with some examples as well. Unfortunately, I ran into some bugs with things like layout and inconsistencies, and this is where I thought maybe it's worth starting again, because making sure you have a good prompt is half the battle, especially when working with any AI tool. So I reached generated the project from scratch, ran into some more errors and regenerated again until I got this, what ends up looking like a much better landing page with my components looking a lot more structured than they ever did before. Now that I've got a baseline for this design, I can continue to prompt Lovable to expand it out. All of this took just about an hour in real time and it shows just how quickly you could build something. Whereas in the past, this would probably take me at least a couple of weeks to do. Time to take it to the next level. I want to build out some ideas I've had in the past, but 
but never got around to, such as an RPG tracker for real life. I created a video on this, but never finished fully making it. And you know what? Why not work on multiple MVP projects in parallel? I'm gonna open up a new tab and work on another idea right here. Since vibe coding is all the hype right now, wouldn't it be cool if we could also do vibe designing? So that's my idea. I wanna create a canvas where people can vibe design different types of website designs or app designs. And here's what that looks like. I've got a nice little application here that allows me to drag and drop different sections, zoom in and out of a canvas and talk to an AI assistant to be able to do a lot of these things. And here I've got my RPG tracker, which works for both the desktop and mobile viewports. It has my stats, quests like working out, reading a book or meditating, and it's pretty much perfect of what I was envisioning. Now that I'm pretty happy with this project, I want to save this to my own GitHub. I can do this pretty easily by simply syncing Lovable with my GitHub profile, and this will also upload this current project to it. And here it is on GitHub if I wanted to download it locally and continue working on it. The thing is, I've gotten kind of used to vibe coding and I want to connect up a database and maybe some authentication. So I'm going to use Superbase, which is already part of Lovable to be able to make this happen. The project is automatically created for me here inside of Superbase. And then I can also connect it straight up to this app to allow it to do things like signing up for a user, logging in and tracking the results. And and again, these are tasks that normally take me days, if not weeks as a professional to do. Now in the hands of pretty much anyone to be able to accomplish. 